Hi, this is Emily Leapart of Art from the Heart. In this video, I'll be sharing a holiday card using several products from Sunny Studio Stamps. I'll be using critters from Sending My Love and Comfy Creatures. The food will come from Summer Picnic, and the holiday sentiment will be stamped with Merry Sentiments and combined with the Merry Word die. First, I'm going to heat emboss all of the bodies, heads, and extra hands, so I stamp them with Versafine Onyx Black Pigment Ink. I use Sparkle Embossing Powder for a glittery, festive look. I set the powder with my heat tool and prepare to watercolor all of the images. I forgot to stamp the food items, so I added them off camera. I'm going to create a family Christmas card. I chose the panda to represent me, of course. The bear is the closest to a beaver, which is my husband's Minecraft character. And I picked the koala bear for my son because he used to call himself our koala bear and asked us to pick him up and he would cling to us like a koala bear. He was also a koala bear for Halloween when he was three. I almost drew beaver teeth on the bear, which would be really funny. I'm using the natural colors for the animals and water coloring their clothes in festive colors. Water coloring is done and the cardstock has dried completely. I die cut all of the pieces. I use micro glue dots to adhere the heads onto the bodies to make it easy to arrange all three of the critters. I wasn't sure if I would use the third set of hands or paws for the koala bear. The drumstick did look a bit weird just sitting on his lap, plus he's not wearing any clothes so I thought it would look strange with cuffs on the hands. However, my son loves to wear mittens and when I place them on top of the drumstick, it looked good. I adhere all the pieces onto the critters with micro glue dots. I use the embossing bag on the panel to prevent powder from sticking to anything but the ink. Then I place the critters to gauge positioning of the sentiment and die cut word. I stamp the first line of the sentiment and now I can create a color wash to anchor the critters. When the background is dry, I can adhere the panel to the card base and attach the die cut word. First, I'm going to die cut two layers of crafty board to create dimension for the glittery gold word. I use glossy accents to glue the layers together. I like to use my design ruler to make sure that the word is centered on the panel. Then I adhere the critters with big glue dots. They already have three layers of watercolor cardstock, so I don't want to pop them up further with foam tape.
Now my card is done. Please refer to the supply links below if you're interested in any of the products I used in this video. You can also visit my blog for stills and more information about my cards. Thanks so much for watching.